What is your biggest worry when it comes to dating a foreigner? What are your thoughts about Tampo? Do you prefer a tough guy or a weak guy? Lights on, lights off, candle lit. What is your favorite thing about making love to your partner? There's a difference between kanang, you fear God in your like mind. You say you see it in your mind like because if you really love someone, you can't even think of things that will hurt your partner. It's me, Sizi Kelly, the hot mama. So for today's video, we have another beautiful Filipina, guys. But before <laughs> anything else, I would like to say thank you so much to all my subscribers, to all my supporters. Because without you guys, I cannot reach this level. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for more updates. So who's this young lady beside me guys can you please introduce yourself to my viewers hi everyone i am shala joy srikilme i am 22 years old and i am from ayungan negros oriental are you ready sure ready, ready. Okay. okay ready guys so sheila are you interested dating a foreigner yes kind of <laughs> okay so what made you decide um that that you're gonna date a foreigner well, so I know that there are kind of differences when it comes to kind of dating a Filipino or kind of dating someone with uh with like kind of emo race, uh -huh. same same race. But kind of, as I've seen, there mm -hmm. are lots of kind of cute couples uh -huh. trending on sa like internet, TikTok, TikTok, Facebook. Facebook. Mm -hmm. But and I've also talked to kind of, one guy a foreigner and i've seen how quite different they are from filipino guys like especially kanang filipino that are my age okay. like so i'm into kwanjod more on matured men kay mm. where dili di, ko lahan sa mga kan, kanang relationship na more toxic gani kay kana ang teenagers nowadays kay they are like kanang more they want nga ang sa ilang world gani di ara mag revolve ang imong kuan uh, they were enclosed you sa oh, ilang okay. world nga they will not give you freedom in an exactly so, it's toxic and uh, i've seen a lot of kanang mga guys on sa mga date kan, mm. i mean kanang dating couple yeah. sa internet na they have a good relationship with foreigners kay kanang they are they give freedom sa kuan gani sa... i agree guys here in Phili philippines mostly um locals are really like you know like what they call that kana bang jealous and yeah. controlling yeah some are even manipulative we don't have a, a, like let's say no freedom yes you you have to ask permission to your partner, partner. before you go to your friends or even yes. your family but yeah they they think Different. Some that. even control how you dress. So, uh -huh. And you don't have the freedom to exactly. express yourself. Yeah, like me. Oh my goodness. I want to, you know, dress up like a, like, a, like a crop top like this, a short. Because it's hot here in the Philippines, guys. Come on. Yeah. Right? doesn't mean that we are wearing the, the, this kind of, you know, like yes. you. Are you open for a long distance relationship? Yes. Okay. I, I actually don't like having a relationship wherein you like i mean it's okay for others they have different opinions too but for me i like to have my relationship like kanang salayo or long distance because kanang i'm still studying okay. and it is convenient for me since i know that kanang ang temptation is just around the corner and me as i grew up in like a poor family i was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth uh -huh. so i have to like pursue my dreams and finish my studies right. so like before um i know that when you are together it's mm. it is it is something na 
you can't control it. There, the temptation is always there. So like, exactly. if you are together, kanang most of the time, it, it most, it is most likely na you will really do that thing. Yeah. So I prefer mine long distance. Okay. As long as you have good communication, you can you know, like every, every uh, video call every day. That's totally fine. Yeah. As long as you have uh, attention to your Filipina, if you don't have time for her, if you have always busy, 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 no, that's not gonna work, guys. What is your biggest worry when it comes to dating a foreigner? Well, I think I have my insecurities too. So like, they are my biggest worries. Mm -hmm. Like, I am not, for me, Yeah. I, I don't, I didn't reach the beauty standard of the Philippines. So what more when it comes to like foreign people, foreign guys? Yeah. So like my height, I'm small. I'm very small. I'm four eight guys. Really? I'm I'm small. Okay. It's okay. And, and also, you know, for me, I'm not very pretty though. I can carry myself with confidence, but I know for mm -hmm. a fact mm -hmm. that. Uh, and we show average lang. Yeah. Average. What are your thoughts about tampo? So, like, sulking is kind of normal when it comes to relationship. Okay, especially if you want something that they can't give you. Especially if it is just like the bare minimum, like time, uh -huh. their attention, uh -huh. and something like that. So, for me, I often sulk. For like the simplest thing, because I believe that um, it is the smallest things that matters. For mm. How did you handle your tampo? I usually communicate my feelings like, uh, we're upfront, gani, okay. okay. I don't like to sleep with a heavy heart. Just, exactly. Okay. I, I agree. want. I communicate like most of the time because I believe that in a relationship. Uh, communication or good communication is always kanang, the foundation of a healthy relationship aside from God, Shempre. Mm. Do you prefer a tough guy or a weak guy? Tough. <laughs> tough or weak? Which one? Well, I don't think I can choose between that because I want to have someone who is masculine uh -huh. and like a golden retriever kind of partner point. So I don't like guys who are tough, like even to you. Like mm -hmm. I want a guy who is tough for others, but soft, a so kind of soft guy for you. Like that, that ah. usually like grabs my attention and like, so his attention and his good side is just for me, not for everyone. Do you prefer a good boy or a bad boy? This is like similar to the other question. In certain circumstances, like for example, if uh, you're dating someone who is always a bad boy, mm -hmm. so there is a big chance that he will do cheat. something. Yes, that uh, okay. he will cheat and he will do something that will hurt you. And him being a bad boy, he won't mind it because he knows that kind of. Sometimes bad boys gets to manipulate more uh -huh. often. So I don't like someone who's always bad. I want also someone who has his good sides mm -hmm. where he value like kindness, mm -hmm. um, respect and kind of um, loyalty to their partner. So in between. Okay. So guys, if you're looking for a serious relationship, you can check on my bio, click Christian Filipina because this dating service, they can help you to where you can find your you know, true love, your fu future wife, a traditional woman that can treat you like a king because this dating service, there's a lot of successful stories because of this dating. I have a friend also that who married an American and they've been dating for seven years. And also guys, they can also ban scammers if they know a notice that this girl is chatting with multiple women, a man, um, they can ban that right away. And also, if you have any concern, just contact customer service and they're active for 24-7. They are willing to help you just to find your true love. Christian Filipina will help you. For example, if you are looking for an educated woman or a province girl, they can help you with that. Especially 
if you really want to talk to that girl one on one you can get the big package deal it's gonna be worth it i know it may cost you money the number one dating service here in the philippines not not like other dating service that you know there's a lot of scammers make it sure to use my link on my bio i will put on the link guys on the description box below and it is a free sign up for you to explore and they will contact you right away lights on lights off candle lit three <laughs> three choices okay there are three choices yeah you have to choose only one so like go on i am very I am a very romantic kind of girl and I've read a lot of books and watched a lot of ro romance movies, like romance genre movies. And I prefer the third one because uh, I can see it in my yeah. vision, I can imagine it, uh -huh. how it would look, especially if you are spending that time with your beloved someone or like the, a person who really really is very close to your heart oh. so what is your ideal first date if i get to decide i'd like to first go to church like sunday sunday vibes and then i like really? to yes okay Kadang, i am i am a roman catholic i was like raised in a household where it's not a responsibility but we are raised in a household na Kina ang murag, na nurture ang among faith and praise and like, so you used to go like every Sunday like every Sunday and, okay yes okay first day first church day. date church yeah. date can you handle that comment down below guys okay I would love to have a relationship where God is the center of everything because I know it would definitely work well what is your favorite thing about making love to your partner. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't ever. I haven't experienced oh, okay. something like that, pa. So like, if oh. ever I get to have a chance, I'd like to like do it after marriage. So. Okay, after marriage. Yeah, not all Filipina will uh, give this, their you know vir yes, virginity. This is not hypocrisy, guys. Uh -huh. You can believe me or not. What is the most important things you look for in a man? Well, the most important is his like God fearing. So like God fearing, a man who is God fearing is the most loyal, the most respectful, and the most loving partner you could ever have. So oh. it all it all comes in one. When a man fears God, he will follow the other orders that you have to do to be like a good person. So so you mean you, he's gonna be loyal to you because he have a uh, fear with god yes okay it is an umbrella mm -hmm. like the the handle is kind of god fearing uh -huh. and the like the race are yeah. like he's he's loyal he's mm -hmm. good he's, but i know that not everyone had that who like god fearing because i know that we all fear god however there's a difference between kind of you fear god in your like mind you say you see it in your mind like yes i fear god however you do not put it into action you do like bad things you you like you cheat you steal you like something like that what are some things that are non non negotiable meaning things you will not tolerate yeah so the things that i won't tolerate when it comes to dating is cheating and you know, disrespecting boundaries because every one of us has their own world that you cannot just stop mm -hmm. it moving para lang marag sa imuha na lang mag evolve ang ilang mm -hmm. world so like it is it is my pet peeves my god <laughs> yeah you know what it's it's not to, to, you should not tolerate when your man is cheating to you because I I know that there's a Filipina that even if their partner cheat, they're they're still accepting the the guy. I've heard that. Yes, but I think it's all in you know, in their perspective and their will to forgive. However, for me for me, mga kay cheating is definitely definitely a choice to yeah. make because if you really love someone you 
can't even think of things that will hurt your partner because mm. it your conscience will kind of never stay at kwangani at ease you know that you you've done something that mm-hmm. will hurt her and like can and your shampoo and cheating is one of the most like, common reasons yeah. why couples break up i'd rather date someone who will tell me like up front na face to face that i don't love you anymore uh-huh. i found her attractive mm-hmm. i think i love her and and so i i'd rather face it like with truth ra- rather than like mm-hmm. make me feel heaven with your lies Jenny. exactly i i really like your mi- mindset i really like your answer yeah. how long you live here in domagetti Uh, Since I'm not actually from, from here. Uh, I I just went here to do some errands and meet up with my friends. Okay, uh, they are they have classes and I my uh Marso is still not gonna the class is not ongoing. Okay. So like we have free time to wander around. Uh, yeah. So by the way, um how many siblings do you have? Well, I have one younger sister. Okay. I am the eldest. Well, supposedly we're three. However, sadly, we lost our ate. Oh, I'm so and sorry to hear right that. Now, I am filling her position in life as the oh. eldest. So sorry yeah. for you, lost girl. Give me a okay. hand. Oh. It was a long time ago, and oh, God yeah? has. Um, I know that. My older sister has served her purpose in life, and that's why God took her. Kay, we, our life is God given, so it is the it is God's right to take it whenever He wants it. So exactly. Like, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. I know it okay. fe- how it feels to lose someone. You know, especially yeah. your family. So um. Sheila, thank you so much for your um, cooperation in this video. Yes, really appreciate it. You. If you enjoyed watching this. Video, you can comment down below. Give me a nice comment as well. Don't forget to hit the like button. Happy 77k subscribers! So, see you in my next vlog, guys. Bye! Say bye bye.